Tinezolid, formerly Torezolid, trade name Sevextro, is an oxazolidnone class antibiotic. Tinezolid phosphate is a phosphate ester prodrug of the active compound Tinezolid. It was developed by Cubist Pharmaceuticals, following acquisition of Trias Therapeutics, originator, Dong A Pharmaceuticals, and is marketed for the treatment of acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections, also known as complicated skin and skin structure infections, CSSSIs. Tedizolid has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration on June 20, 2014, for the treatment of acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections, ABSSSI, caused by certain susceptible bacteria, including including Staphylococcus aureus, including methicillin-resistant strains, MRSA, and methicillin-susceptible strains, various Streptococcus species, S. pyogenes, S. agalactiae, and S. anginosus group including S. anginosus, S. intermedius, and S. constellatus, and Enterococcus faecalis. Tedizolid is a second-generation oxazolidnone derivative that is 4 to 16-fold more potent against Staphylococci and Enterococci compared to linezolid. The recommended dosage for treatment is 200 mg once daily for a total duration of 6 days, either orally, with or without food, or through an intravenous injection, if patient is older than 18 years old. Mechanism of action Tedizolid phosphate TR701, is a prodrug activated by plasma or intestinal phosphatases to tedizolid TR700, following administration of the drug either orally or intravenously. Once activated, tedizolid exerts its bacteriostatic microbial activity through inhibition of protein synthesis by binding to the 50S ribosomal subunit of the bacteria. Clinical trials Tedizolid proved its non-inferiority to linezolid in two phase three trials, known as the established trials. Tedizolid is the second treatment approved by the FDA under the new federal law generating antibiotic incentives now, known as the GAIN Act. New antibiotics manufactured under this new act will be designed as a qualified infectious disease product, QIDP, allowing an expedited review by the FDA and an additional five years of market exclusivity. Adverse effects The most common adverse effects found in the clinical trials were nausea, headache, diarrhea, vomiting, and dizziness. Tedizolid has also been found to have hematologic blood effects, as shown in Phase 1 studies in which subjects exposed to doses longer than 6 days showed a possible dose and duration effect on hematologic parameters. Its safety in patients with decreased levels of white blood cells has not been established. Patients on tedizolid are also at low risk of peripheral and optic neuropathy, similar to other members of the oxazolidnone class. References, <references>